So, Fallout 76 is blowing up at the moment with more players since its launch on Steam than it's ever had. And it's kind of fun in 2024. I'm going to go through the question of whether, despite the current hype surrounding the TV show, if Fallout 76 is actually fun. Before I get slaughtered like a Brahmin at a burger bar in the comments below, let me just say that this video is not debating or accepting the ethics surrounding live service games. Some of that we'll get to later on in this video. Just to say that if you're annoyed at the way many live service games treat their players and feel that the model overall has harmed gaming and gamers, I'm totally there with you, buddy. But that's just not the topic for this video. I also want to say thank you to all the Fallout fans that subscribed for my last video. I was feeling quite intimidated by making a video in the Fallout YouTube space as so many creators I have a lot of respect for, like Epic Nate, Rad King, MC Hammers, just to name a few. And I now see why so many creators have dedicated themselves to this space. I've never seen a nicer, more respectful and intelligent comment section than my last Fallout video. So thank you so much and please like and subscribe to this video because we're going to be doing so much more Fallout in the future. You'll think the bombs had dropped? So let's get to the bad surrounding Fallout 76. I've already said it's a live service game, and if you're a gamer in 2024, you probably know what that means. The game is always online, has a cash shop, and as most live service games do tend to favor, long grindy engagement rather than meaningful gaming moments. Just to be clear, you will not find the sort of epic storytelling moments of Fallout New Vegas' Hoover Dam battle here. It is legitimately possible to think this way, and I don't blame you if you do view Fallout 76 as a cruel parody of the actual narrative-driven Fallout games, and see this as a glorified scavenger hunt for junk and a disgrace to the series. Let's be honest, a lot of how fun you will find Fallout 76 will some way be related to whether you find the game's grindy nature annoying or chill. One of the biggest factors that stops me being able to just chill and enjoy the game, because I think that's how it should be enjoyed, is the darn quest system. Now, if you've never played Fallout 76, but have played some of the other mainline Fallout titles, you might be thinking, hey, old man Banjo, the Fallout quest system is awesome. There are clear quest markers when necessary, and everything is nicely organized within your pit boy. How could you hate that? Yeah. And to that I would say, you've never played Fallout 76 on a new account in 2024. In Fallout 76, every quest marker, and I mean every quest marker, appears on your map. Now, they won't show as a directional icon unless selected, but good luck finding out where to go when highlighted in that mess of a map when you've got dyslexia like I do. The sheer volume of quests and the game's refusal to adopt a more standard MMORPG style quest organization system is probably my least favorite thing about the game. It takes what in other Fallout games I find totally easy and chill and turns it into something that can be utterly laborious, especially if the quest is part of a larger reputation grind for a story mission that I need to complete later and it becomes unclear to me why I'm doing this smaller daily quest in the first place and who it's really for. Another issue that bothers me with Fallout 76, and I think most people this will be their biggest pet peeve, is the pay for convenience aspect of the game. This pay for convenience comes in three major forms item durability in which you can avoid the game's endless search for scrap to repair your items by just pulling out your credit card to fix them instead. Shut up and take my money. Coolers and fridges, not a huge deal, but the game does have survival elements where you will need food and water and being able to store your food in a refrigerator and not log in two weeks down the road to find all the food you cooked last week is spoiled is a big advantage and that is only available in the cash shop. Last, but definitely not least, inventory space. Your stash can only contain a limited amount of weight. While you're out there scavenging all that junk, some of it you'll inevitably need to throw away just to clear out space, because your stash has a limited amount of weight. Moreover, the game offers paid options to store some items, particularly scrap, in a way that avoids adding extra weight to your space, thus making inventory management much easier and more fun for you, the player. Inventory management in Fallout 7 is a pain and clearly comes across as intentionally inconvenient to force people into paying for Fallout first, which offers better options. In the end, I think that's the briefest summary I can give of why Fallout 76 isn't fun in 2024. So let's get into the good stuff. If I'm gonna bash Fallout 76 for being a live service game, I'm also going to need to be honest to you about the benefits of that to you as the player. 
The reality is that the people who pay for things like Fallout First are funding the content for the rest of us. I bought the game for 7 quid on sale a few years back, and I've received a lot of free DLC for that, most of which I haven't even explored yet. The DLC have been generally reasonably good quality, with the Wastelanders expansion, you know, the one that added actual NPCs to this alleged RPG, being by far my favorite. Along with the Brotherhood of Steel and now Atlantic City, there is a disgusting amount of stuff to do in this game and none of it hidden behind any paywalls. Another thing about Fallout 76 is that the community is generally very friendly, and a lot of the game is just running around spamming emotes at each other doing event quests. The game, for a Bethesda game, runs remarkably well in these large events, and there's a sort of community spirit surrounding all of it that I really enjoy. A warning that this does feel a bit different at the moment as there's been a huge influx of new players, but events will surely become more chill again once people get better geared. As for the gameplay itself, this is still a fall game. If you love wandering around a post-apocalyptic setting smashing ghouls in the face, then you're likely to find the core gameplay enjoyable. The more crucial question in my mind is whether or not you can enjoy the game's more laid-back, grindy pace of 76 compared to the more succinct narrative nature of other Fallout games. For me, 76 has actually been one of those games I tend to boot up when stressed out to just enjoy the scenery of Appalachia and do some events. I actually tend to play the game in a very similar way to how I would play something like Stardew Valley. In my experience, it isn't too uncommon for the more committed players in this game to do the same. Fallout 76 is a game you're more likely to enjoy, in my opinion, if you're looking for a chill experience. This is not an MMORPG for people that love to run Mythic Plus in World of Warcraft. Before I forget, one of my favorite of the game systems is the legendary Gamba system, as I call it. By the end of the game, you'll be getting lots of legendaries, and you can scrap them for and then buy random crates containing a generic type of item from melee weapons, ranged, and armor. Given the vast amount of weapon types in the game and the huge number of legendary modifiers, I really enjoy seeing what I get. It gives you a bit of a gotcha game feeling without it being a real-life money sink, which I quite enjoy. And last but not least, probably the best thing objectively about Fallout 76 of all of the Bethesda RPGs is that you can play with your friends. I forced several of my friends who refused to play the game given its launch fiasco, and all of them have joined and had fun with me in the game so far. Overall, the best thing I can say about Fallout 76 is that Bethesda genuinely have created a social multiplayer game that actually does avoid a lot of the tedium and criticisms I have of a lot of the new heavily min-max theme park MMOs out there. Fallout 76 is fun if you can overlook some of its flaws, and I'm glad to see the game getting some love. But we should also be clear, this is far from a No Man's Sky level redemption arc. If you watch this far into the video, give me a like and subscribe. I'm glad to have you with me. Love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.